welcome back to Fujits Blitz. And this is just a fun video to, to look at some of the reasons why we lose. And we do lose. And sometimes it's not our fault, sometimes it is. And we don't objectively look back. All we do is complain and moan and whinge about the AMM. So I thought, well, I played this game, so let's have a look at why we lost. Let's break it down. So I'm rolling out in the Type 59, which is a nice little tank, to be fair. It's a Chinese tank, a premium tank. It's a nice little medium sitting in Tier 8. And here we are on, you know, basically desert sands, and we're, well, we're going to have a bit of fun. So we've looked at the team makeup, and I can see on the minimap that basically the entire team, near as damn it, is going the other way. I was like, oops. However, we're here to spot up. So we spot up two red tanks. We can see two red tanks. Uh, we've got a TD on Overwatch. And the rest of our team continues to go the other way. So there are tanks spotted. And they're still going the other way. No tanks spotted the other way yet. And now there are still two tanks on the red team spotted. But that is going to change rapidly. And I mean rapidly. And it's so now there's a red tank over on the other side. You can see that. And there are four green tanks taking out those tanks. And all of a sudden, we're swamped over this side. The entire red team is here. And our team, the green team, is absolutely making no, no adjustment to where they are. They are continuing their incredibly long flank around whilst the entire red team literally the entire red team is here that's it they're here <laughs> there's no point you continuing to flank guys the red team is here and now our bloody td is buggered off to follow the rest of the pack we have zero cover <laughs> and then we wonder why we lose we we lost that game and we're going to lose this game because what the rest of the team just went into a state of inertia. They continue to flank, despite the fact that the entire red team but one went the opposite way. And two of us were just left there to hold the fort. And by then, we just couldn't get out of there. I mean, there's just no way. We were always going to be rushed. The T-44, he did get my upvote. He stood his ground. He did his best. And what... Yeah, what people need to realise is this, guys, the mini-map is vitally, vitally important in the game. It's more important than most other attributes of the game. And the inability to read the mini-map really does lead to a very poor game. The best players, the top players in this game, read the mini-map constantly. And they react to the map we lost this game because our team just didn't react to the map. All the heavies all converged on one tank. So we had four taking out one. And it just allowed the rest of the red team to just plow through and clear us one by one, which they did. And the red team played a good game. Unlike our team, we played a very bad game. You know, I mean, the two mediums myself and the t44 spotted the red team but we got zero report and even our overwatch td bugged out disappeared didn't help knowing that he was going to get rushed <laughs> it's as simple as that so guys the point of this lesson is you know keep your eyes on that mini map at all time and react to the ever gaming uh, sorry the ever changing situation of the battle you cannot afford to not read the minimap because it will just end in tears like like this game did and you'll see at the end i mean i didn't last very long in this game and i, I think i got the second highest damage that's telling to be perfectly honest with you because that should never have happened the team should have reacted a lot quicker and they didn't there was a state of inertia um, and it was a state of inertia brought on by not being able to read a minimap. We were never going to win that game. Simple fact of life. So, that's the breakdown. Uh, I'm not throwing dispersions upon anybody. 
on, on the team. I'm just saying that, guys, read the minimap. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That's just been a quick overview of why we lost that particular game. Um, and I do put it down to not reading the minimap and lack of experience. By all means, comment and everything below. If you haven't yet, press subscribe. Lovely thing to do. Puts a smile on my face. Send me your replays, good or bad, to fujitsblitz at gmail.com or post them to my Discord server. More than happy to have them there. And as you can see, I did indeed upvote the T44. The guy, low battle count player, did exactly what his job was meant to do. He tried his best. And that's all you can ever, ever ask for. Anyway, guys, until the next time, we're always going to lose. Every now and then, we need to try and find out why we lost. And it does hurt. Ouch. But stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, guys. Because, you know, that is really what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.